Well, I came to Dr. Stone um, a year ago today. Um, well, I had my surgery a year ago today with Dr. Stone, I should say. Um, I had had a long history of knee problems um, dating back to late teens, early 20s. I had two medial meniscus tears in my 20s that had, I had surgery on um, and uh, never really had a, a pain-free knee, I would say. Um, so I spent, uh, you know, my 30s having kids, trying to be active, doing the things I could do. And uh, finally got to the point where my knee was um, bothering me so badly, I went to back to a surgeon to find out, you know, do I need another debridement? Let's, let's take care of this. It'll be easy in and out surgery. And he said, no, I'm sorry. Your cartilage is gone. Your knee is shot. You're probably going to have to have a knee replacement surgery, which I was 43 years old at the time. I wasn't ready to do that. Um, so I started looking at options and found Dr. Stone online. Um, I asked, in fact, went to my orthopedist I was seeing and asked about um, a biologic knee replacement, a, a meniscus transplant, and he said, no, I'm sorry, you're too old, your injury's too old, and you know, I was just barely 44, so I was slightly offended by that, and came to see Dr. Stone, and uh, could not have been happier with the results. Um, he said, you know, no, you are uh, young enough, you are in great shape, you can definitely have a meniscus transplant, which could get you um, a long life back again out of that knee without having to go the route of a, of a knee replacement surgery. So, um, you know, thought about it for a while because it didn't seem like an easy decision to make at the time, but uh, finally ended up after further injuring my knee, skiing, um, just decided it was time to go for it and do it. And, uh, and I did. And it, uh, it wasn't the easiest path to take, of course. It takes a lot of hard work and commitment. Um, in fact, I remember the morning of my surgery, I was feeling kind of bitter that here I was again having another knee surgery, and Dr. Stone came in and was, you know, none of that. You know, you need to approach this like an athlete in training and not like a patient in recovery. And that, those words stuck with me, and I, I hit the th training hard. I hit the therapy hard. Um, I would say by four or five months, I was back out mountain biking again. Um, and even though initially I was told I wouldn't be able to ski again this first season, I was skiing again at eight months. Um, and so here I am a year out today. I'm doing pretty much everything I you know, could do or even couldn't do pre-surgery pre because I had knee pain constantly. I'm running without knee pain. I ski without knee pain. I bike without knee pain. I don't have to ice after I'm active. Um, so it's great. I would say the surgery for me was a huge success. Um, and, you know, most importantly for me, I have three kids, young kids, young girls, and um, so we're an active family. For me to be able to hit the slopes with my kids or go for a mountain bike ride or take a hike or maintain an active, healthy life and model an active, healthy life for them, that was um, probably one of my hugest reasons for doing this. I don't feel limited to doing anything that, um, you know, I, I could do before. I feel like I can do more now because I'm doing it without pain. I don't feel like I have to worry about you know, if I go biking too long, I'm not going to be able to walk the rest of the day. I'm going to have to sit down with an ice pack on my knee. I just get out and do it. And that's the great feeling is to not have to worry about knee pain constantly.